Prince Harry and Meghan Markle desperate plans backfires. Is their brand a sinking ship? The royal firm has been very quiet about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's decision to partner up with Spotify for an all-exclusive podcast series. This apparent silence is not a shock as the family believes that the couple's podcast will not be a threat because it will be unpopular. As much as the Duke and Duchess of Sussex strive to gain more popularity with their commercial ventures in Hollywood, their plans have only given them the opposite effect. In a new poll commissioned by YouGov, it reveals that a whopping 90% of Britons are not interested in listening to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's podcast. What's more shocking is that all age brackets strongly show no interest in the pair's venture. The royal duo's popularity has taken a plunge in the past months, which has been strongly interpreted by royal experts as the nation's disapproval of their exit. A breakdown of the poll showed three options, I am very interested, I am fairly interested, and lastly, I am not very interested. The 95% age group of 65 and above voted on being uninterested, followed by the 50 to 64 age bracket at 95%. The 25 to 49 showed 9% fairly interested and 89% not interested. The YouGov poll's youngest age bracket was aging 18 to 24, with 16% interested and 72% not. This shows that Britain's older age population has no regard for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's podcast news. The younger age bracket sees a small spike in the interesting section but not big enough to boost the popularity of the two. Reports have alleged that the Queen is not too happy with Meghan and Harry's decision and is vividly infuriated with Meghan. The reason behind Her Majesty's dislike of the couple's podcast deal is the confidentiality that may be lost in the process to increase their listeners. Furthermore, Meghan also announced this week that she was investing in an American-based startup company that looks to produce oat milk lattes. This further fueled the pretense that Markle is cashing in on her royal status. Despite the negative backlash the Duke and Duchess have gotten from their unconventional partnership with Spotify, the two will most likely find more ways to become more popular in the social media realm. First. Harry and Meghan signed with Netflix to become producers, and now Spotify. Who knows when the pair will stop, they have yet to celebrate a year since their exit from the firm. Yet to